Hi everyone, and welcome to my indie review vlog, the show that gives you spoiler-free reviews of indie films. My name is Asaf Angel from Indie Productions, and today marks our 30th episode. And to celebrate 30 weeks of reviews, we will be reviewing three short films from my indie featured artist, talented Israeli filmmaker, Leon Lifshitz. Thank you, Leon, for sharing your films with us. <laughs> We've known Leon for the better part of a decade, but somehow this is the first time I get to review his work. Let's get to it. Film number one, 2013 thriller short, Let Me Help You. Aya, a young girl portrayed by Israeli model and actress Yara Ben Benishti, is riding her bicycle in the city of Tel Aviv. She stops to pick up a couple of things at a kiosk when a couple who seem to be down on their luck catch her eye. At first they seem to be harmlessly lurking, but then Aya realizes that they stole her bike. She manages to get the drop on them and causes them to crash mid-escape. The couple, played by Hani Eshayao Kupferberg and Edidia Vital, seems stunned. The young man suffers a nasty laceration on his forehead. Aya takes pity on the two and manages to convince them to come up to her apartment so she can tend the young man's wound and possibly offer them something to eat. Just like that, the couple find themselves in Aya's apartment. But if you would have guessed that not everything is as it seems... It feels Leon's vision was designed to create a sinister vibe. From the casual interaction between our characters, Leon manages to convey an eerie notion, as the story is an excellent representation of the wolf in sheep's clothing motif. Somewhat reminiscent of Michael Haneke's work, Leon successfully built a dark world in subtext preceding the story's climax. That means that the eerie experience of the overall tone comes from hidden layers appearing near the end of the second act, so you feel that something is off, but not sure exactly what. Leon also built an interesting dynamic between all three characters, and he did it with admirable simplicity to let the viewers know exactly who these people are and what kind of personalities they have as the story progresses. To sum up, Let Me Help You is a wonderful example of Leon's ability to build a multi-layered story. Production value is fairly decent, cinematography by Owen Cohen was very well done, and the performances were excellent. Let Me Help You gets an 8 out of 10 on the Look At Me, I'm a Film Critic scale. Let Me Help You was officially selected to 29 festivals worldwide and won two awards, including the Best International Film Award at the International Film and Animation Festival Vision in Russia. It's an Hebrew-speaking film with English subtitles. It's available for viewing on Angerman Distribution's VOD channel, link below. I was fortunate enough to be a crew member on the production, and as far as productions go, it wasn't easy, but it was an unforgettable experience. Film number two, 2017's short comedy, For Life. Yasmin, a young woman portrayed by Shiri Gadni, is engaged to Daniel, portrayed by Iftah Leibovich. We first see her entering a jewelry store, browsing the different displays. She eventually halts dumbfounded at the gaze of one of the store employees, Bar, an attractive young man, played by Ishai Ben Moshe. Shalom Gamla. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. Fucking fuck you. Fuck. Shalom, shalom. It appears the reason for Yasmin's surprise has something to do with the somewhat steamy history between the two. As all her past emotions rise again, Bar takes notice that she still covets him. This is a terrible development for Yasmin as she didn't arrive alone. Her fiancé Daniel was about to enter any second as he was merely parking the car. As stressful as Yasmin's day may have been looking, it wasn't about to get any better. Did she not take care? With quick-witted dialogue and physical performances from his cast, Leon manages to put together a fun, quirky story that feels to give a nod to the comedic style abundantly found in French comedies, which can be quite literal with a little surprise thrown in here and there. This style seems perfect for this type of short. As we, the viewers, experience the film through Yasmin's eyes, Leon also incorporates absurd scenarios originating from her troubled thoughts while she's in a confused state. Leon toys around with the stressful and exciting times couples go through in the time before their wedding. Aside from the comedy, there's also social commentary on the evolution of conformities regarding relationships. As this is a spoiler-free review, I'll leave certain things to you to find out when watching the film.
To sum up, even though it can be said that this type of comedy caters to certain audiences, For Life is a fun film that not only showcases wonderful performances, fairly impressive production value, and well-executed cinematography, but also, by following a tense thriller with a comedy, testifies to Leon's versatile range as a storyteller. For Life gets a 7.5 out of 10 on the Look at Me, I'm a Film Critic scale. For Life was officially selected to 38 festivals around the world and won two awards, including the Best Comedy Award at Ratma Film Festival in the UK. It's also a Hebrew-speaking film with English subtitles. It's also available on Angerman Distribution's VOD channel, link below. I was fortunate enough to be a crew member on this film as well, and despite an injured back at the time, it too was an unforgettable experience. Last but not least, 2018's comedy short, First Night Together a dialogueless film that leans on its wonderful visuals to tell a somewhat familiar experience. A young girl, portrayed by Dana Fide, is having her apparent new lover, played by the Tangu, stay at her place overnight for the first time. As she's understandably thrown out of her comfort zone and is forced to adjust to new circumstances which are preventing her from falling asleep, Leon shows us how she experiences her discomfort in a somewhat unusual way. The girl goes through a series of metaphoric visualizations of the different annoying new obstacles she's forced to face from the man who now shares her bed. As her frustration rises, her night turns out to be a futile attempt to get some sleep. In only three minutes of runtime, this is a fun, heartwarming film that uses universal language to convey its message. Aside from that, it continues to show Leon's evolving visual storytelling range. There's much care placed on cinematography here, a necessity when there's no dialogue. Owen Coyne again shows great skill behind the camera, and the teaming between Leon and Owen seems to be a positive union of cinematic vision. First Night Together gets a 7.5 out of 10 on the Look At Me, I'm a Film Critic scale. The film is just starting its festival run, so we wish the best to Leon, Owen, and all involved, and we'll keep all of you updated on its release. So that's it for our 30th episode. We hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, keep supporting indie film. My name is Asaf Angel, and thank you for tuning in to my indie review vlog. I'll see you next week.